Since the Roman occupation, England has mostly been dominated by a power base ruling from the south of the country, principally centred on the great city of London. But the northern regions of England, remote and culturally distinct from the south, were, for much of recorded history, staunchly independent, wildly restless and prone to rebellion. Unhappy with regal rule from a distant southern capital, northerners did, on more than a handful of occasions, rise up in a series of bloody attempts to challenge or replace their kings and queens in the south. I'm Daniel Gray, and in this series, we take a detailed look at the Great Northern Rebellions, from the 11th century to the 16th, and how normal folk from areas like Yorkshire, County Durham, Lancashire and Northumberland rose up to bravely challenge the divine authority of their masters. Rulers like William the Conqueror, Henry VIII and his daughter, the Virgin Queen, Elizabeth. The Northern rebels felt that this was their time. They had to act fast. It was now or never. Time was running out. We'll see how those rulers responded, often with contempt, savagery and vengeance, in a series of cruel campaigns that laid waste to vast areas of the North and killed hundreds of thousands of people. The human and economic cost of these terrible crusades against the Northern citizenry would impact down the centuries. It was a brutal period of history for the North. It was said that this campaign killed over 100,000 people. Although the memory of these events from the 1100s to the 1600s has been widely lost from our collective consciousness, the lasting effects of these upheavals can still be felt even now in a North that was and continues to be economically poorer than the wealthy South. It could even be said that the North has never really recovered from the onslaught it endured, which laid waste to its agriculture, livestock, infrastructure and economy, devastating lives and stunting development for centuries. I'll be your guide through the major Northern rebellions of the past 1,000 years, taking you to the places at the heart of the struggles and introducing you to the people who sacrificed, fought and often died for the causes of personal and religious freedom in the North. We'll take a look at how a series of decisive and controversial actions led to a social and political powder keg in the English North and how and why the match was lit that ignited civil conflict. And we'll visit the key towns, castles, houses and battlefields of the revolutionaries and counter-revolutionaries who fought and died in the Northern Rebellions.